Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets, looking at more traditional or classic German beer that I got from my brewmaster when he was down in Germany on vacation. Bought some beer, brought home, and uh, gave me some bottles to review. This is fun. This is going to be fun to review. This was uh, actually the brewery where my brewmaster started his training uh, to become a brewer in Thüringen, which is the area he's from. And this is uh, from the area of the Rhön Mountains in Germany. Uh, uh, Thüringen is Thuringia in English. Uh, and this is from the brewery Rhön Brauerei Dietmar. And this is their Dietmar's Versand Beer Brauerei Dunkler Doppelbock. Uh, it's funny they call it Dunkler Doppelbock because usually all Doppelbock is dark. Uh, I, I think if you just see it in light, it's called Helles Doppelbock maybe, or just Helles Bock. Um, but Doppelbock is a, another classic German beer style. Uh, it's a strong lager beer, usually made with Munich and caramel malts. And uh, you use a whole lot more malt than you would do in traditional lagers, going up to a much higher percentage in alcohol strength. This one being 7.4%. And, and then you have your regular Bock, for example, as well, and Dunkler box, which are usually a little bit lower, but still strong. They're around the 6% uh, area. Uh, but it's a classic style. It's, it's a style I drank actually a decent amount of back in the day. Uh, my all-time favorite double buck is Eilinger uh, Celebrator double buck. That is a very great classic double buck with all the flavors you'd expect. But so with a double buck, expect classic German lager beer. But since they're using these caramel malts, expect more caramel and breadiness and even the hits of dark fruits and whatnot. Depending on what double buck. But, double buck you drink. It's different from brewery to brewery what they use in their malt bill. So I got the Dietmar double buck, uh, Dunkler double buck poured and the head is really diminished but again when I poured it for the thumbnail it had a big frothy pillowy head. Very nice stable head like the German lager head retention when you pour it just looks amazing uh, in a lot of the traditional beers but pours what you would expect from a double buck. A very nice clear dark amber reddish color Dark brown, maybe even it's like mahogany with the light in the in the background, but on camera it looks like very dark brown. Nice kind of beige-ish head on there, not too much because I put so much in the glass for a nice thumbnail, but that's how it goes. So check out the aroma on the Doppelbock Dunkel from Dietmar. Definitely caramel and toffee, loads of it. It's funny at our brewery uh, we do a Munich style Dunkel Lager. And Tom said it's a bit inspired by this. Like he changed the recipe a bit compared to what it originally was. And he says this is almost like a imperial strength version of that beer, which you can kind of smell. It's got that distinct nuttiness that our uh, Munich Dunkel has. It's almost like that in just an imperial form, if you could say it like that. But it's got your traditional double bug aromas, the caramel, toffee, sweet malt, breadiness, freshly baked bread, doughy kind of dark bread. Well, not doughy, but like baked, yeah, freshly baked dark breads. It has a hint of dark fruit, but not not too much, just a hint of it, and then that nuttiness and that clean lager finish. Yeah, it smells pretty nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers! And again, thanks to Tom for the beer. It's a pretty decent double buck, but it ain't got nothing on Cilabato. Cilabato is just much more intense in flavor and caramel flavors. This is much more mild and round, which some people might enjoy more. Uh, actually, it's funny, of all the lagers back in the day, I think the one I, the style I preferred the most was Doppelbock, actually, because it had a bit more intensity of flavor. Um, it's just, this is just much lighter than most Doppelbocks. It's still nice, though. It's still a nice Doppelbock. Nice caramelly, toffee flavors and brown bread. Hint of that dark fruit. Clean lager finish. It's even a little bit hoppy. It's got a bit of a noble hop bite to it without being too much. But it's nice. Caramel, toffee. Hints of dark fruit, as I said, a little bit of spicy noble hop quality to it, a bit of dark fruit, a lot of nuttiness. That's actually the mostly like the, the dominant flavors, like nutty caramel type flavors. But it's just not as explosive and as and intense as other double box. I think even to some extent the Salvatore from Paulana has more flavor than this, which is interesting. Or actually, no, it's actually a little bit similar now that I think of it because I had that beer not too long ago. But it's a, a pretty nice double box. I think for me. I think it's still the best and that is like 90 something. I should revisit that beer as well. But this is like an 82, 83. It's the early 80s, still a very well made lager. Uh, again, it's lagers, I think the 80s are quite, usually quite high grades for lagers. I, I think because I rate according to personal preference, I don't think lagers would really ever go in the high 90s. 
because I prefer other more flavors of beer styles, especially especially ales. But for lager, I still think that's a very good grade and um, yeah, quite a nice double buck, but not my absolute fa favorite, but I can see connotations to one of the beers we brew at our brewery. But yeah, guys, if you had a chance to check out the uh, Rollenbrauerei Dietmar, Dietmar's Versandbierbrauerei Dunkler Doppelbock. That was a mouthful. <laughs> if you had a chance to try it, guys, let me know what you thought of, thought of it. What do you think of these traditional styles of beer, like Doppelbock and old school beer styles? Do you ever drink them? Uh, I remember one of the double box I really enjoyed back in the day was one uh, like a one-off from Avery, like an anniversary ale, and I think it was barrel aged, and it was actually quite nice. But yeah, let me know if you had a chance to try, it, guys. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'm gonna say cheers and see you guys in another beer review.